Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am back with another makeup haul. Y'all, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I know you're probably like, girl, you just posted a makeup haul video. And yes, I did. I bought some more makeup, okay? Somebody stop me. Somebody stop me. There's some good releases and I am so excited for this. There's some good releases, good sales. Like I just... I just couldn't pass it up. I just couldn't pass it up. So I got some stuff from Ulta, Sephora, other things from specific brands. So without further ado, let's get into this makeup haul. Now we start off with what I got from Sephora. Let's start off with this right here. This is super big but i am so excited about this i have been seeing y'all asking me for like hair videos and when i tell you guys i don't know a lot about hair okay i don't i don't know a lot about hair um all i know i just know what works best for my hair and i know kind of how to find what works best for my hair. And that kind of leads me into this product that I picked up. This is from Sephora. This is one of the newest Sephora favorites sets. This is for those of you who have curly hair. This is only $29. And let me show y'all why it's $29. I think that's such a good, good price for this because look at the brands. Okay, look at the brands. There is pattern in here, the brand Bread, there's Briogeo, Living Proof. Like there's some good stuff in here. And these are not like little tiny little samples or it's not like samples. It's like bigger than a deluxe. This is the pattern curl gel. This is the exact same size as a travel size that you can get at Ulta in like their little travel section. I don't know how much this costs. I want to say like $12 or $14 and just about two of these products literally pay for this whole set. I find like sets like this is just a good way to try out the brand, a good way to see what you want to spend money on the big size of. Like we have some Living Proof in here. We have the Living Proof Curl Shampoo and Conditioner. Never tried Living Proof before. This product I have been dying to try from Briogeo. This is the Curl Charisma Hydrating and Defining Mask. I'm definitely going to use this tonight. It's it's wash day tonight. Um, and then we have some Mazzani Wonder Crown Scalp Foaming Pre-Cleanse. The Bread Hair Oil in here. And this is such a good size because with oil, it go a little bit goes a long way. So there's some really good stuff in here that I just feel like is such a good deal. So I had to share that with y'all because I feel like once people realize what that is and how good of a value it is, it might sell out. So I wanted y'all to know about it. Next thing I picked up from Sephora is this right here. This is the Pat McGrath Lust Gloss Duo. So this was $29 and this is two full-size glosses from Pat McGrath. $29 or $29 or $30. It's $30, but you basically pay $15 for two full-size Pat McGrath glosses. They're really pretty shades too. They're not like just random shades that no one would use. They're nudes that people would really use. So this one is called, this is the Lux Gloss in the shade Faux Real. This is going to be a really pretty gloss to like top in the center. I feel like this is a good way to try out the brand as well if you've never tried her glosses, but it's a really pretty nude. Then, and then the other shade is called Wicked Whisper. This one is also pretty. It's kind of like a peachy pink nude, but I really, they smell so good. They smell so good, but I would use both of these shades. So I think this is such a good little set. I think it's so good. I feel like we need more full size value things. I feel like Pat McGrath comes out with a lot of things in that like packaging, like little sets, but they're always like minis. I feel like this is the best one I've seen. So I had to get it right away. The last two things I picked up from Sephora is this setting powder right here. This is from Laura Mercier. This is the new Ultra Blur setting powder. This is a new talc free setting powder that Laura Mercier came out with. If you haven't seen my review, definitely go and check it out. I am not the biggest fan of this powder. If you haven't seen it, spoiler alert, I'm not the biggest fan of this powder. Um, it has like a little bit of like shimmer specks in it. I'm wearing it today. You guys are gonna see me try it out again if you wanna like see it in action again. 
Um, but yeah, so I have that. And then the other thing I picked up is from Dior. This is the Backstage Flash Perfector Concealer. I picked up the shade 6N and it's too dark for me. It's too dark of a shade. I don't know what I was thinking, but it's really dark. I was so excited to try this out, but it's not like, it's like my skin tone, but it also kind of leans a little bit orange too. So I'm going to have to get a different shade. It kind of sucks because I was super, super excited about it, but that's okay. That's okay. Next up, let's get into what I picked up from Tarte. So Tarte was having a 30% off friends and family sale and y'all know I had to shop it. So I picked up four more shades of the Juicy, the Maracuja Juicy Lips. Somebody stop me, okay? Somebody stop me because I really, really like these a lot. So let's go through the shades, shall we? So first shade I picked up is the shade Coconut. I haven't even swatched these yet, so I don't know how these are gonna look. So we're gonna do it together. So this is the shade Coconut. Let me wipe this off. Ooh, that's pretty. Kind of has like a little bit of like a brown kind of tint to it. That's pretty, pretty coconut. Then I picked up the shade Honeysickle. This one's the deepest one. I was like, let me get something different. Let me get away from the nudes. Let me get a deeper kind of shade. So that's Honeysickle. Wow, they're all gonna look similar, are they? They're gonna look so similar on the back of my hand. Ooh, yeah, they're gonna just look similar. Hopefully you can see, but it's a slightly darker. Then I got the shade Orchid. So not the packaging. This is the shade Orchid. This one is like a peach. Well, it's like a, I don't know. It's like a mauve. It looks kind of mauve to me. But yeah, it's kind of like more on the mauve-y kind of side, but it's still really pretty. And then the last shade that I picked up is White Peach. This is a shade I stalked forever. I always wanted to order this from Ulta, but it was always sold out. And I was like, okay, oh my gosh, Tarte has it in stock, so let me get it. This one's like the prettiest like nude ever. It's kind of hard to tell, but this is like a really pretty like peachy kind of nude. I'm so excited about these. So your girl had to add four more to her collection because they're so good. All right, let's get into a couple of things I picked up from Ulta. I didn't really get too much. I got like three things from Ulta, but I did get this for free. This is from Olaplex. This is the Olaplex Hair Perfector. So I got this free because I was a, I'm a Diamond member at Ulta and they were giving out full, you got to pick from a list of full size products and I saw Olaplex was on there and I was like, I've never tried Olaplex, it's expensive. Let me take this moment and get it. So I don't know how to use it. <laughs> it says it's gonna repair and strengthen your hair. So if you've used this, let your girl know. I'm gonna definitely read this. It says it's not a conditioner, it's a bond builder. Okay, we're gonna look at the directions. We're gonna read it very intensely. So I got that. Also finally re-upped on my Bad Girl Bang mascara. My favorite mascara, I have two favorite mascaras, y'all, but my favorite high-end mascara of all time is this one. The Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara is the best one on the market. It's so good. I feel like it lengthens, it curls, the bottom lashes look beautiful. I freaking love this mascara. So I bought another one, it was time. Definitely was time. This is like my third one I've purchased. So that says a lot. And then the last thing I picked up from Ulta is another Fenty lip stain. So I ordered this online. I ordered this online. They only had like two shades in stock too. So I was like, okay, they're bringing it back, but slowly. So this is the shade My Type. Someone recommended this to me. Thank you, whoever recommended it to me, because it's so pretty. I haven't used it on the lips, but it's such a pretty, pretty pink. And I'm really excited to use it. It's very like different, not something I would typically go for but we're gonna see how it is on the lips. I think it's really pretty though. I think it's very, very pretty. But I feel like every color other than berry that Fenty came out with of the lip stains is like, it's gonna look bright. So I was like, let me just get the pink. So it's cute. I did just get these recently. These are from e.l.f. These are the Halo Glow Liquid Filter Glow Boosters. I'm obsessed with these. I have a review on my channel. Definitely check it out if you're interested in seeing how this applies, how it looks. I'm wearing it today. I have been wearing that nonstop since I tried it out. I think it's so good. I love it. I feel like the shade that I chose is perfect. I have the shade six as my face shade. And then I also use the shade, shade five as like, you know, on top to add a little bit more glow to the skin. 
Next up, I just got the new, I just got this today actually, and I'm wearing it on my lips. This is the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum in the new shade Pink Glow. Every Monday for the rest of summer, he's coming out with a new shade in his plumping lip serums. And this is Pink Glow. It's so pretty, it's like a milky kind of pink. It's so pretty. It's what's all on my lips. I really, really love it. And then last but certainly not least, let's get into what I picked up from Made by Mitchells. Ordered this from his website. This is my first time ordering from his website. Uh, it took a while to get to me, but that's okay. So I did get his new All Smudge No Budge liners. These are my favorite liners. They're so good. They give you play time to smudge them out or just let them stay, like they stay in your waterline very, very well. And like, if you wanna do like a wing, they stay really beautifully. They're amazing. So I picked up, oops, forgot one. So I have these. I'm wearing the lime green one in my waterline today. This is, what shade is this? Where's the shade? Charisma. Uh, all these products, I'm. you are gonna see, this is probably gonna be the next video after this one, but I, this whole look, I did film testing new makeup. So you're gonna see most of these products put to the test or in action, if you're curious. And then the last thing I got, which I did use in that upcoming video, is his new pastel blushes. These are so cute. These I got to use as like eyeshadow bases. I feel like you these are so versatile, so you can use them literally in so many ways. So today I did use these as bases, but they're so great. He's coming out with so many different blur shades and I'm totally here for it. I'm gonna buy all of them. I'm gonna make my way to have every single blush that he comes out with. I really love them because he does really good sales on his website. I kid you not, I got all of these for $30. Like. Regular price on each of these is like $15, but he does really, really good sales on his site. So this whole bundle was $30, so I had to get it. So that is everything that I've purchased recently. I'm not gonna do another haul for a hot minute, so don't worry. I we're gonna take a break with the hauls, uh, but I just feel like I haven't done hauls in so long, and then now I pumped out two haul videos in two weeks. So it's like, okay, now we're gonna like slow it down. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know your thoughts down below, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.